everybody to the Big Guy Garage. I'm Richard. I'm your hostess with the mostest, but welcome back. I got quite a bit done on Friday before I called the weekend off because I knew it was going to get cold. So I did everything else I needed to do, but luckily I got this, you know, huge fluff to keep me warm and this huge fluff. But, uh, pulled the plasma apart couldn't find anything wrong with it by eye so I'm gonna have to ship that thing out that sucks uh, I've got the patch panel in the floor made not the patch panel the whole floor panel basically made on the back here still gonna make the driver side one heat is on but while it's warming up in here what I'm gonna do is put the plasma back together get it ready to ship out and then from that point we'll work on the truck uh, I'm gonna show you real quick what I got done on Friday so you can see where we're starting off at today so this is basically where I finished uh, on Friday I already have that panel mostly made that covers through here I do need to make a little panel through there but other than that, that's the whole thing welded in. So now, from that point right there, all the way back and around, it's pretty much ready. I have to make a couple little side panels here and there. And at that point, I can start working my way forward. And also, I need to replace that floor first thing. Then after all that stuff's done, we can work on firewall. Which it, it's it's pretty easy. It's it's a lot of open spaces through here that makes it great. That side, however, is not open because of the brake boosters and everything. So it's going to be a big of a, a bit of a pain. Also, I will have to make a lot of stuff for right here. But other than that, it's going pretty good. I'm very happy with the progress I've made in three weeks. You know, the cab's basically on, it's welded, front end fits good. In fact, all this even fits pretty nice through here. But other than that, we're, we're trucking along doing pretty good. Uh, still bummed about the plasma. Do I need it anymore? Mm, you know, yeah, I would love to have it back as quick as possible. Because when it comes time to cut that bed floor out, it's ridiculously good, thick, new metal. Which will eat a ton of cutoff wheels if I don't have my plasma. So, yeah, I need to get this thing in, or back together, find a box, which I think this box over here will work. Uh, something that I can ship it good and tight. And make sure it don't get beat up anymore. And yeah, but that's the goal is get this thing out ASAP. And while it's gone, just continue welding and fabricating all the patch panels and stuff for this floor. Do the firewall. And hopefully by the time it comes back, we'll already have the frame cut and extended. And we'll be ready to go. All right, so first thing I'm going to start off with today is a little bit of CAD design for this floor. If you don't know what CAD is, that's cardboard aided design. Because, yeah, I ain't plasma cutting. Like, I, if I had a plasma table, I would love it, but I don't. So, uh, this is my cardboard. It's probably got to be cut up a little bit more than that. But that's what I'm going to start with. I already know this edge has to be rolled a little bit. I might get out the bead roller that I just bought and try it. But I'm not sure if I even need it at this moment. It would probably stiffen the floor up a lot if I did. But that's going to be our first cut. We'll cut that out. Test fit it a thousand times. It actually goes in like that. This is the toward the back. That's the front. There's a wall here and this actually will have a loop in it somewhere this is just too flimsy for me to get everything 
right you know because it's got to go under the floor this won't go under the floor it just binds up so I need to make it out of metal first and you know I did buy an English wheel I'll show some videos on that later I was gonna make some this weekend but it's just too cold to just mess around so yeah I've already messed with it it's pretty fun but a thin piece of metal like this is perfect for that little crap but I'm gonna cut this out now and uh, we'll we'll mess with getting this floor done today this back wall done hopefully with the aid of the welder I can warm it up here a little bit more uh, the floor pan has to be replaced on this side before I can weld any more forward and that's basically why I want to start with it this back piece is no big deal I pretty much have that already made out of some of the old gas tank straps that were in here it's sort of got the right uh, bump out and stuff on it so use what you got if it's already close use it so after that once I have the floor replaced the front edges I'll show you right here will go they stick out so I'm gonna have to cut them flat be a great thing to have a plasma cutter for unfortunately mine is down but uh, I have to cut from here all the way up to where it meets the firewall and make a flat panel that connects the kick, which is steel, to the floor. Again, which is steel. I do that on both sides. That's not going to be fun. It's going to be in a tight hole cutting. I hate doing that. You really understand if you have a plasma how much work it takes away from what you're doing if you're building something like this compared to a cutoff wheel cutoff wheels are still useful but a plasma oh it, it makes the world a difference yeah so that right here is where that corner is so that'll get cut up to here this will get cut straight and welded straight down through there do have to make a patch panel for that i just remembered and a patch panel for that over there uh because there'll be a new spot for the holes for the under dash heat and air unit i have to make a strip on this side and then we'll work on this whole area but this is uh probably a week goal i'm talking about right now by the end of the week i would like to have the cab completely welded and done you know all the patch panels and everything done and possibly even have some of the wiring ran that's not too big of a goal but it is pretty big i mean let me think here eh, well yeah it should be doable to get most of this stuff done by the weekend as long as it don't you know drastically get super cold which it might but uh yeah we'll get that stuff cut and welded Get the floor pan made get the kick panel patches made and we'll go from there but that is the week's goal floors completely done firewall completely done and welded and possibly running 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 wires you freaking idiot. but uh yeah I, I don't see any major problems um the one major problem is the fact that we haven't got another frame yet uh we still got to look for one and we need what else is i'll have to do all the fuel lines all the brake lines brakes need bled anyway because i deleted the abs but when we cut the frame all that stuff has to be you know it's not going to be pieced together because we're going to cut far up here on a new frame and then we're going to cut back here on the old frame so we'll have extended amounts and we'll have you know an extra gas tank an extra rear end leaf springs yada 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 but uh let's stop talking and let's get busy cutting this out <laughs>
All right, it's like super cold. Freaking nipples are hard as a rock. You don't need to know that, but I'm just telling you how cold it is. Got the patch panel basically made for the floor. Run over here and I'll show you a better view of it. Waka 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 waka. All right. But yeah, it's in there. I'm getting ready to start tacking it in and hammering it down. It's not sitting flat, it's just bowed up because there's a lot of shapes in here. But I'm going to start tacking this back corner. Work my way that way and around. And that'll allow me to, you know, form it as I go. I couldn't run any kind of beads in it or anything because it's just, there's too many shapes in it to make like an accurate bead or nothing in there. So that's what I'm going to start doing now. Hopefully the heat of the welding will warm me up. But we're going to get that done and maybe this back uh, today before I go in or should I say before I quit. Because I want to try to get this ready heater salamander working. The fan motor on it's locking up. And honestly, the fan motor is more expensive than the whole unit. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I am cold. So, let's, uh, let's get this in and done. Maybe get this in and done and work on that. Because... Today is the warmest day at 50, and the rest of the week is like 30, so I'm not going to be able to work with 30 degree weather. And right now my little thermostat says it is currently about 52 in here. Yeah, I'm barely making it at that. So, yeah, sucky sucky stuff going on, but let's get this done. We're not done let's get this in welded well i think i've done a pretty good lot today uh for being cold as it is i did get that whole back put in and you can actually see it looks pretty good i sort of got the actual same as this side going but it's in it's mostly welded. I had not turned the ta uh, camera on because I was just in, you know, go mode. This side is about ready. You can see I got the floor pan welded in. I had to add a piece up here because that floor was pretty rotten. But I got that mostly tacked in. That one's mostly done. So it's it's going. But this cold weather's killing me. This thing, I had it going and it just keeps popping the little breaker on the back. So I don't even messing with it. But nighttime's getting ready to fall. It's going to start getting wicked cold. So I think I'm going to call it for tonight. And tomorrow I'll finish welding all that. And then I got to go out to the owners, strip the other S10 that he got so he can cut the frame. But, yep, it's, uh, it's moving. That's all that matters. It's moving along. I'm surprised how good that actually turned out. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but it looks pretty close. You know, the cut lines and everything are throwing your eye off, but I'm happy with it for something nobody's ever going to see for real uh but the next step as i said finish welding that go strip the other s10 get some measurements get a frame cut bring it out here and uh probably later on after i get the firewall and everything finished we'll worry about clipping the frame so so yesterday I said screw it and pretty much just hammered down and got that back piece in and the floors tacked in. Got to do some more patchwork. The hump right there where your foot goes, the kick, whatever it is. Anyway, it's pretty much rotted out. Uh, I do need to clean this floor out before, you know, I get too crazy. Crap, I forgot the new impact. But we're going to continue on. I'm going to finish welding everything up. 
as you can hear it's raining it's 40 degrees this sucks but we must continue on we dude we oh we dude we did find another s10 so we do have the other rear clip don't mind my garage it's a mess right now but uh i'm gonna go there tomorrow and start stripping it with the owner and get the frame section pretty much what we need and yeah then we'll be ready to clip that after i get the cab all welded but we're moving right along uh i'll make sure to get some more b-roll today welding all this stuff in then i'll start working on cutting the fire or the kick panel spots on both sides that's gonna suck fit my big body in there uh, and again as I said firewall lots to do on the firewall still but let's get busy it's cold can't stand around and talk actually I am because it's cold and I'm waiting for the heat to get warm in here I'll mess with this a little bit more see if we can't get it to kick on but enjoy let's do some more welding well i don't know if you can hear me or not but got my heat on came out here last or this morning not last night this morning to find that i believe this battery had blew up that's what all the water is and destroyed my charger congratulations that sucks Ugh. wait for it to get warm in here now so I can get busy. I haven't done nothing for the past three days because it's been ridiculously cold. And I've had to move refrigerators and fix trans lines. Everything happens in the winter. But today I'd like to get this finished. Welded over here and over there. Uh, I might not even be able to cut anything. I do think I have a cord, uh, corded grinder somewhere. That sucks. But after that i'm gonna weld this firewall and everything I'll probably run out of welding wire i can see that happening today also but uh it's all part of it you know i'm pretty furious at that battery and charger right now but nothing we can do but push forward you gotta push forward no matter what it is in life you gotta push forward death taxes don't matter push forward but yeah I think I'll get busy by welding this firewall first I might have like I don't know five minutes left on the battery that's in the uh, cutoff wheel and then I'm gonna have to drag out the corded cutoff wheels those are always lovely to chuck around but yeah we'll start here today so that way I ain't got to get in the cold vehicle or nothing. And the heat's blowing basically straight back here. It's doing a pretty good job already. It's only been on about five minutes and it's about 50 in here already. But let's, uh, let's push forward and get busy. Ladies and gentlemen, I just got back from getting welding wire. I am not happy by far. I'm actually quite angry and a little bit sick. The 11 pound spool of not even name brand wire. It's, well, it might be name brand. Other was it Washington? I don't even know. I can't even read it from here. MIG Alloy Company or Wall Alloy. Yeah, Wall Alloy Company. Never even heard of them. It's not Hobart or nothing like that. 11 pound spool of 23,000 wire. $53. Thanks, Biden. I can say that now. Republicans rule. Screw you, Biden. You'll be gone soon. You're destroying our lives. People who actually do stuff. Ugh. Let me stop. But anyway, I'm going to get busy now before I lose my mind over spending double what I did two years ago on welding wire. Man, I need to shave. But, uh, yeah, let's get busy welding the firewall here. We'll start with it today. 
hopefully get most of it done before I have to inevitably get out the electric corded grinder and start cutting with it. Yeah, lovely. But let's get busy. Sorry for the noise of the turbo back there, but anywhere you can weld without having to make a patch panel, do it. So this actually come together quite nice. I don't know if that side will, but this side did. So I'm gonna weld it down through here, hammering it together as I go. Now there is a big gap right there. You could technically turn your welder really far down and weld that, but it ended up looking pretty crappy. Best bet you can do is find a little cutoff piece of the floor or whatever you've been cutting and just stick it there and weld it and you'll be good to go. But yeah, I'm gonna weld this, hammer it good and tight and move on to the next part. That one happened to work out really nice for me. So after the untimely death of my husky, posted online and my uncle actually hit me up and said hey I got an Ingersoll you can have half inch so that's awesome this thing's brand new like not even been used look at that still got the silica gel in it but even though he gave me this he's still not getting his toolboxes back those are mine now this is mine now too can't bring me tools and expect me to give them back so we're gonna put the air fitting on this thing he told me also to not put PB blaster in my air tools I mean I've done it forever but he said to use Marvel mystery oil so that's what I'm gonna put in it Marvel mystery oil and we're gonna pull the brake booster off is why I got the impact out because it's sort of tight and I need to get in behind it and beside it so I'm just gonna pull it I'll have a lot more room to get in there uh, just let it sit on its brake lines up here no big deal and uh, weld all this up it's starting to get cold in here again I'm gonna have to turn the heat back on but that's the plan right now put the air fitting on the Ingersoll and get back to work Fire the heat back up. Let's get busy. Alright, again, sorry if you can't hear me from the heater, but I'm hammering down. I've already made them patches over there. It's all the way up to that bolt. And the firewall's right there at the top. 
This one I just got cut out. It sucks to cut these with cutoff wheels, but I actually got it down here where I'm going to weld a little bit, and then I got to weld around this, and then the patch will be here to there, and you just make a triangle. It's pretty easy. Ow, oh, son of a. I got to do that up there too. That side's a little bit further, so I have to go farther. You know, it's all the way up to the corner. But yeah, it's coming along. It's going pretty quick today. I don't know if I'm just in the mode going and hammering down, but everything's going good. Uh, there's going to be a ton, and I mean a ton, of little welding patches I'm going to have to do for here and here and this hole and that hole and that hole and that hole. Ow, son of a... Gosh, that hurt. Dang. Bunch of holes there. All this is going to have to be welded and cleaned up. This will have to be uh, welded nice. This don't really matter as much because it's going to get blacked out. This, however, is going to be body color. So when you pop the hood, you want this to be clean and nice. Uh, that vent, you know, that vent's probably functional still. I can probably, we can probably keep that. That would be kind of nice, actually. Uh, it depends on him. If he wants to keep it, like functional and leave it that way I'll leave it if not we'll silicone around it and slam it shut let it dry and then I'll cut all the mechanism out from under there but yeah um, before I quit today I'm gonna try to finish you know that floor welding get this cut off without cutting into the distributor because I'm just gonna make a new piece for that this is not gonna bend up it's too sturdy uh, there's too much bend in it already. And after I get this piece made and them corner pieces made, the cab will pretty much be done. It'll be welded and it'll be golden. Now from that point, I'm going to have to, you know, start doing these patches and everything. But I'm going to have to start running my wires. Again, this side, easy. I got plenty of room now. The other side, no. Nah. The bulkhead for the other side is... Where is it? I think it's that one. But the harness. No, there's a. I'll show you real quick. Woo. Warm right up my kanaki. My kilt. But anyway, uh, the bulkhead right here is the bulkhead. This is the harness that's going to have to go in either here or. That's basically the only place it can go. Uh, and I just thought of there might be a problem with the actual harness getting hit by the brake. If I can, I might even get it up into here. That wouldn't bother me. No, that wouldn't bother me at all to get that up into there. And then maybe put the uh, power bank or whatever they call these uh, off to the side. Yeah, but... I'll worry about that when time comes. Um, I did have to do a double weld here because it was short, but everything is real, real sturdy. Uh, as you can see, remember me telling you about the gap? This is all the gap because this side of the firewall is further forward. So, and of course it comes down at an angle here and I just welded it straight to the side there. It's no big deal. It's welded all up now. So, uh, yeah, tomorrow, if not today, depends on how I'm feeling here in a minute, uh, start making these corner panels for both sides and make this top panel. Um, I hope I have enough metal left. If not, I'll have to, I'll have to see if I can find some metal somewhere else and build the rest of this but no big deal uh, metals extremely high welding wires extremely high so yeah let's uh let's jump back into finishing up that weld over there and we'll go on from there see what we do got that whole back part cut out it's ready to make my piece tomorrow uh, i'm gonna call it get that done tomorrow Try to hammer out this piece. That little 
circle piece where the heater hoses went through might do that piece too and after that make these little corners in here and this cab will be done as in completely welded on ready to move on to sneak in my wiring wherever i can get it again this side will be easy that side will be rough but the cab is i'm gonna say 80 to 85 percent done uh, Monday, I'm going to go strip the other S10 to where we can get the longer frame we need. And then probably, I don't know, sometime next week, because if the cab's done, we can do this. Because it's not going anywhere. So, cut the frame. Roll this one out of here. Roll the new one in. And start welding it together. But, uh... Tomorrow, yes, will be the last day, and we'll hammer out corners, the underhood stuff, and anything else little we can do in that day to get the cab pretty much completely done and welded, we'll do. As for today, though, I'm, I'm good. I, I did a lot. I accomplished a ton. Finished all them little patches, made these patches. So, from basically from here all the way around to there is completely welded. So, next thing, as I said, corners, that cowl part, whatever you want to call it, distributor spot. We'll get it out. Whoever, of course, has had an S10, knows them are a pain to get to. Now, I mean, it's going to be easy breezy. So, that's golden. Heat's off. Got my laptop, need to charge it, so I listen to music on, and that's it for today. Well, it's pretty warm in here, but I think I'm about to run out of gas on that one. I've got my CAD made for my patch panels. That's cardboard aided designed, if you don't know. Uh, I've got this one for the passenger, that one's driver. They're both made. Uh, I'm gonna double check this one. And then I'll start cutting them out of metal. Get them made. Those will be pretty simple. I even got the plasma boxed up. Not very well. I'll have to duct tape the fire out of that thing. And get me a shipping label so I can get that thing out of here next week. Hopefully it ain't a thousand dollars to ship that thing back. Shouldn't be, but I don't know. It's heavy. I don't even want to know. But, uh, yeah. So... I'm going to cut out some patches and start welding the rest of that. The rest of the floorboard, get it welded. After that's done, I'll work on the firewall. Probably after I go and swap my uh, gas tank out. But the firewall is a bigger one. Yeah, big old hole on the firewall. But let me go swap out tanks. I can definitely tell it's dying now. Uh, and we'll get some more heat going and start busting out these patches. I'll put you on a uh, time lapse so you can see all the cutting and welding involved there. And at that point, we'll be good to go for the week. It's not going to be a very exciting video, but it is going to be a very informative video. Get away, you better get in line. Won't go another day. Wasted any time I've got a lot to say Can't hold it in this time Got no filter I got no filter No them patch panels or kick panels whatever you want to call them did you see the saw kick back on me Woo. 
I'll tell you a good story right now why I do not wear a face shield or have a shield on my soul. Because I'm not a fucking pussy. Yep, that's the reason. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape fire anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity it's mind over everything are done on both sides there is two patches over there I need to do and one on the firewall right there I'm not worried about those those are easy but the next step I'm gonna work on is getting this big piece made I want to try to hammer out most of the big stuff you know but once this one's complete the firewall is basically done you know, I do still have to make a patch for here and there, but that's no big deal. Again, I just want to focus on the parts that I had cut out, which I didn't cut this out, but somebody cut out. So I want to focus on that part. And then after that's done, just start making little patches and plugs for everything. Those are no big deal. You can just stick a flat piece behind them like these holes and just fill up a weld. It's all of them. Uh, that one I'll probably have to make a better patch for because it's pretty big. That was the drain tube. But, yeah, it's all going pretty good. Uh, it actually got warm in here, so I kicked my heat off, which is awesome. But, yeah, I'm going to find a piece of cardboard or paper or something big enough for this now. If I can. And then start trying to make a patch for it. Uh, as I said, I'm going to try to go straight up to the top here, weld flat straight across that, and then just bend the metal on the bottom. But that's what the plan is. Let's uh, get to it. All right, guys. Uh, it's close to dinner time. You know, it's big guys who like to eat, but uh, I haven't done nothing with that yet. I figured we're just going to stop it here for the week. Um, we're going to hammer back in next week. It's supposed to be warmer. I don't want to go eat dinner, come back. It's already going to be dark, cold. Waste some more gas just to get it warm again to fix that one spot. So, thanks for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed the content, even though it was a crappy week. I've got to get the camera out for the b-roll video uh but please 
like, share, and subscribe. I am raising about, let me think here. I think I'm getting like 100 subscribers a month, which is pretty good. But I really could use your help to get a lot more. And if you're wanting to do some funding, I also have shirts and stuff. This one's wore out. But I have shirts and stuff, even hats, stickers in the uh, shop down the link below. But again, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'll continue on the 40 Monday. 47. See ya.